And welcome back to Idaho Today, wine tasting. Do I have your attention? It seems pretty straightforward, right? Uh, but it actually turns out that there are some do's and don'ts that you should know before you make a trip to any of the great wineries in our area. And to be very transparent, I've, met, I've done many wine tasting trips, but there were some tips here that I learned that I knew nothing about. It's so exciting. There are things like how to know when you should actually make a reservation, very important, to what kind of deodorant should you wear. That's right, I said deodorant. I found all that out at Hell's Canyon Winery. We are here at Hell's Canyon Winery on the Sunny Slope, or in the Sunny Slope Wine Region out here in Canyon County, and I'm joined by the owner, Mrs. Hadley, and she's gonna help us understand some of the do's and don'ts when you come out to do a wine tasting. So I think the most important do is to come with an open mind. And I think there's a lot that can go behind wine tasting, but it's also just it's so important to enjoy yourself and create memories with friends and family. You have to remember that each place is really different and even within a region, each winery is really different and winemaker styles play a big part. And sometimes people get their wines from Washington or get their grapes from Oregon. And so you're gonna have a lot of variation. So just approaching wine tasting with an open mind. Keep in mind that the wine that you like is the wine for you. And so if somebody else says, oh, definitely not, you know, you don't, you're not gonna like that. Um, just remembering that you might. Yeah, that's right, you just might. <laughs> just because they had a different experience with it doesn't mean you'll have the same one. Right. Yeah. And then I'd say my biggest don't is trying to visit too many wineries at once mm -hmm. because that's just going to color your experience. You know, you might drink too much wine or you can't remember the first place you were, the fifth place you were. And mm -hmm. so for safety and then I think also just enjoyment. Yeah. Trying to just do one to three and really take your time and relax and enjoy the place where you are. Yeah, um, you, you don't want them all blending together unless you actually do have a bottle of blend. Yeah. That's when you do want it to blend, <laughs> right? Right, unless yes. it's a blended wine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I think too, just if a lot of times people like to go wine tasting in big groups mm -hmm. and a lot of the places tend to be quaint mm -hmm. and so it's hard to accommodate a big group. And we really want to, especially here, give good service and have good hospitality. And so we love it if people are in a group that they let us know they're coming. Okay. So just like you would go to a restaurant, you know, you're not going to just walk into a restaurant with 10 people and expect to get a seat. Yeah. Um, so letting places know that. So communicating coming. ahead. Reservations yes. are recommended. That's great. <laughs> yeah. But and if you just want a wonderful little private moment, a beautiful landscape and a comfortable, sweet setting. By all means, go ahead and come with a with a friend or with your partner. Yes. And enjoy a glass. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you can just have a glass of wine if there's something mm -hmm. that you know that you like, and mm -hmm. you don't always have to be tasting. Yep. We always say, don't mm -hmm. wear your 24-hour lipstick. Don't wear a lot of perfumes or lotions or deodorants because oh, then why? that's going to really affect your smell and even your taste, and then maybe the person you're with. No way. Because it's sort of overwhelming. Yeah, because the nose is a part of the experience. Right. Well, so okay, especially so if you're going to like a specific wine tasting that is inside. Yeah. Just keep your perfume to a minimum. Your personal scent down. Yes. Okay. Even the deodorant. That's a great that kind one. Of thing. So that's okay. a big one. Okay, what about um, food? Yes, so I was okay. gonna say that's a good reminder. So eating something um, while you're tasting or in between tastings, mm -hmm. even having a meal, but then maybe also having some snacks as you go and then staying hydrated mm -hmm. as well. Okay, so, so definitely take advantage of the water cooler. Yes. Yes, <laughs> in between Water the and wine, but some yes. water. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 